people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot with principal i'm your host shaheen in uh, today's video we are going to analyze uh, stock market we'll look at uh, and nasdaq 100 dow jones 30 s p 500 uh, uk FTSE 100 and we'll look at tesla uh, we'll look at bitcoin and uh, we'll look at crude oil now there is a significant change in the labeling um, the reason because we have spent more time in correction and that's making the degree of the waves a little different and the main term uh, the main trend that I have already told you guys that I'm bearish on the stock market I'm bearish on the world indices still same I've told you guys that I'm bearish on crude oil and that stays same but we have to adjust the labeling a little bit you guys can probably get it from the price behavior price behavior is not what exactly we were looking for so that means that we have to probably re adjust our labeling uh, degree of the labeling, uh, wave labeling especially and then uh, there is a significant update or about cryptocurrency all right there's a significant and important update about cryptocurrency so pay attention to that as well as far as gold is concerned i can see it has already started to move on sideways but i'm gonna wait for another couple of days before i can uh, give another update as soon as i see the structure completion in uh, in gold and in uh, forex major pairs there is an important price action going on as for as soon as I see the completion of the structure I'll be able to tell you guys uh, what ha was gonna happen with the forex major pairs and I'll be actually posting them as soon as we update the data if it happens on Monday if I'll try to update it on Monday if it happens on Tuesday I'll try to update that on on the YouTube channel so once again we have uh, an important update if you are uh, following me you have been following me and you were able to take good benefit from it uh, why not please press thumbs up and uh, I read every single comment and I try to answer uh, most of them so let's start our analysis for today first of all good news is that if you have missed the previous drop this one or this one right over here too and even this one don't worry we have more strong data uh, coming in the in the market the updated labeling is right in front of you right now uh, I'm right now considering that we have blue wave 1 and wave 2 completed right over here too then wave 3 completed recently right over here and right now what we are going through is a uh, wave 4 this blue one I'm expecting that this shall be completing pretty soon I'm not expecting this to continue for a longer period of time an important support zone lies in right over here in this area and on a smaller time frame we can see on a weekly time frame we can see that we are actually heading for a zigzag or a double zigzag price action behavior for now we can simply consider this as a zigzag price behavior we have wave A right over here and wave B right over here and right now we are continuing on wave C so <coughs> we are going to discuss that uh, for now as uh, we'll have more data available but for now we can use uh, simple trend line for a confirmation of uh, the completion of the structure as you get more data we can actually definitely consider it as wave one and smaller wave one and two and you know something like this or we have to wait a little more that's why I'm saying we a little more wait is needed uh, we can do one thing more and that is we can use this trend line as a guideline all right this is this trend line is going to be used as a guideline not as a confirmation of the structure we are looking at this larger structure right over here too therefore we are going to use the outer trend line and once prices move away a bit then we can use definitely horizontal trend line as well uh, horizontal line or whatever you guys call it so that's what I'm looking for it I'm expecting to see this in uh, uh, on uh, maybe Monday and Tuesday all right let's see what when that happens and as soon as that happens, we are to expect a major uh, five fifth wave right over here which will be of the same degree as we have seen a drop from the top right over here too and as we have seen a drop right over here too so you are looking for a larger price movement downward uh, this is what I'm talking about so we're looking for a larger price movement downward and the potential target could be 7200 uh, that's too early to say but I'm looking for a significant price move downward of a sign of a same strength as we have seen in wave 3 as we have seen in wave 1 and or maybe larger than that so this is what I'm looking right now and uh, if you have questions let me know this is the uh, Nasdaq uh, 100 we were talking about uh, let's have a look at Dow Jones 100 uh, Dow Jones 30 and uh, what I'm talking about Dow Jones 30 so for Dow Jones 30 uh, once again we are going to complete through an A, B and C structure as soon as that structure completes we are going to look for a, a stronger price movement downward and that should take for a good while 
maybe of a same strength as we have seen wave 3 all right maybe of same strength as we have seen of wave 3 uh, we shall see that within that uh, price structure that we are actually continuing right now you guys can see that's it's exactly look like a 5 wave right over here from bottom so we are expecting another 5 wave from the top and I'm expecting another pullback or push up a, a, a little upside once again we can use a diagonal uh, line right over here as a trend as a um, capture of the trend and we can use the this particular channel to provide a guideline for us to where the prices shall be actually expecting somewhere around around the top of the channel uh, we should be expecting the price level let me have a look right so somewhere around the top right over here we shall be expecting uh, this to approach and then a drop and I already told you guys that once a drop occurs then you're looking for us a wave that is going to be probably as strong as we have seen in wave 3 so if you're looking for a stronger wave downwards uh, initially I told you guys that you're looking for a wave that was going to be smaller but now the recent correction that has happened giving me an indication that the wider correction it is the wider we are time you're going to spend in the impulse wave and if the we are going to spend wider time amount of time in an impulse wave that is giving us an indication that the price is going to move farther as well so this is why when I say that you're expecting a strong fifth wave it comes from the time duration of the fourth wave uh, we are spending quite a bit of time in fourth wave and uh, and price as well not as much price but time especially so this is giving an indication that fifth wave is not going to be a shorter wave which was initially we were looking for but we are now looking for a stronger fifth wave downwards and already uh, I can see that happening in NASDAQ and Dow Jones 30. Let's have a look what's happening in S&P 500. I've drawn uh, two channels first of all uh, one this is capturing this area and one that's capturing the outer price movement. So I think that we have completed wave 1 and 2 this black one wave 3 is complete and wave 4 is right now going on is the same structure that we are seeing in all the three indices and I'm expecting that we shall be completing that in a day or two once that is complete then we can actually look for the price to go down and once again we're looking for a stronger price movement downward because we'll be completing a larger correction in terms of time that means more time is expected to be completed uh, to be uh, is expected in the for the duration of fifth wave which means that that fifth wave is expected expected to be longer than what you're expecting so fifth wave is expected to be stronger in terms of both time and price nasdaq is not significantly moving as we thought it would be moving down so we have to look for alternate labeling and the alternate labeling is because we have seen a resistance right over here too giving me an indication that we are looking for a price structure which correction that did not complete over here making us believe that the correction is still going on right over here too so I'm expecting that we are going to see uh, uh, FTSE to push up forward something like that in the maybe a couple of days or three days and then we are to expect a stronger price movement downward give me a moment please <coughs> So we are expecting that uh, the correction shall be completing in a day or two and then we are expecting a stronger move downward uh, probably around this area uh, 6400 6350 share yeah I know it's far a bit uh, but this is what right now at least price labeling is giving us an indication for so we are gonna wait for FTSE although we had and I, I was really glad that we had seen uh, such an amazing drop but f from yesterday uh, we have seen a jump in it right too so I'm expecting that some this jump will continue to create a double top and then we have to expect a strong price movement downward something like this that we have seen it will be mo spending more days uh, as we as compared to what you we are expecting and we are actually we were expecting a stronger move downward as far as FTSE is concerned so uh, once again will be really set up once the prices go up it will be really nice trading setup double top will be formed and then we have this angle coming back as well from the drawn from the top so that will be very amazing trading setup for uh, FTSE, one, uh, FTSE 100 as well. So this covers uh, right now, this covers we have NASDAQ 100, we are bearish on NASDAQ 100, we are bearish on Dow Jones 30, uh, we are going to be bearish on S&P 500 and we are going to be bearish on FTSE 100. And Tesla is no different. The only thing that we are looking for, we are looking for a smaller move downward in Tesla, 
things have changed right now because FTSE we are seeing weakness and also you guys are noticing the labeling has changed a bit too so I'm right now considering that wave 1 is a leading diagonal and I'm considering this whole price movement from the top to bottom is also be going to be a leading diagonal therefore this 4 is being considered as part of the same structure that actually started from over here so wave 1 right over here too and wave 2 right over here wave 3 and wave 4 has taken more time and it has gone into the territory of wave 1 giving us an indication that a leading diagonal happened in wave 1 and a leading diagonal is going to happen as a whole for a larger wave uh, downward as well so I'm expecting that maybe in a day or two we'll start seeing price movement downward uh, for Tesla and that will be our wave 4 this blue one right over here alright we it does not mean that we can actually stay here we can actually go further down right over here it can push Tesla to amazing uh, bottoms right over here so we, uh, we are expecting major major uh, strong coming in as far as stock market is concerned in especially in US and um, well all over the world generally but what we are right now analyzing is that we can clearly see a storm is, is to be expected which is going to hit the markets really bad uh, in uh, Britain in the US around the globe and Tesla as well and other stocks as well now Bitcoin I know there's a lot of um, you guys were actually pushing for it and uh, what last few days have been has we have seen last few days price to, uh, I was bullish on uh, Bitcoin I'm still expecting that some price left is le uh, we are going to see some price to push movement upward but I think that I called for a bottom a little too earlier so that is the point I'm right now taking uh, reason is because it's been quite a l almost like 20 days maybe and we haven't seen not 20 days 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 something like 20 days around I can simply calculate it, calculate it like that yeah exactly 20 days I'm expecting we can probably see one more day of positive bullish price movement but I'm not considering it as a as a bullish move uh, in, in an impulsive move right because we have spent a lot of time and we have spent a lot of time moving here too we, every time it goes up we have deeper price movement it went up we have deeper price movement so I think that we are right now completing wave A, wave B and wave C and the labeling has been updated to give us an indication that we have completed wave 1 and 2 right over here too wave 3 was complete, wave 4 was complete and within 3 you guys can see the labeling wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 and then wave 5 so I'm expecting that we are to see uh, the low one more for time All right? we are to see impulsive move starting from over here to further down and it looks to me that we are going to go quite a bit of down. All right, I'm not saying this is going to. This is the target we're going to see, but if the price continues its strength, we are definitely going low, quite a bit of low, and it's going to spring. Uh, well, it, at least it was. It was to surprise me. Uh, I'm pretty sure quite a bit of my quite a bit of my viewers were expecting that. No, no, it doesn't feel like that. Bitcoin has already created a bottom right over here too and I can see from the previous data and right now it does not feel like we have created a bottom right over here so another smaller price movement is expected I mean another wave is expected downward not a smaller price movement where exactly prices can push it truncation we also have to consider for truncation and the reason I do this line was that I think previous support is drying right over here so we have double bottom right over here too and I've drawn uh, this price target as an important one okay so I'm expecting that the price shall actually continue to meet this double bottom creating a triple bottom in that case Bitcoin is going to hit 3700 right over here too I know it has come all, uh, for as a surprise to a lot of you guys um, I did a mistake there is no other way to say uh, but I, I, call, I can say right now that uh, we can still have time for a day or two. I have myself bullish price uh, position in the cryptocurrency. So I'm going to close that in a few hours and I'm going to open a new position. I'm going to wait for position uh, prices to go further down before I take a position. Once again, if you guys are interested on buying uh, cryptocurrency and if you guys want to make an informed decision, I have a special section on Patreon. 
and I'm making a special research on Petron and that will be updated in a day or two. We are going to look for, uh, we have already uh, figured out one very important leader of the market and it's going to be very interesting. It is on the front level and we have figured out a couple of uh, secondary uh, strength cryptocurrency as well that are kind of in the second row. So we're going to keep doing that and see if we can add into our front runner as well. So we'll do that. And if you guys are interested in that research, come join me on my Patreon. Uh, I think it's only $49 US per month. So it's pretty inter interesting research as far as uh, uh, the material is concerned. Because w sooner or later, the bullish market is expected to start in cryptocurrency. But the main question is going to be, uh, are we able to find something which is going to perform better as compared to other cryptocurrencies? When it comes to stocks, there's probably not much difference, but when it comes to cryptocurrency, there's a massive difference. If you can find the right, um, right cryptocurrency, then that definitely it can make a huge difference on your portfolio. Give me a moment, guys, please. <coughs> Oh, my, my throat uh, gets pretty dry quickly. So this is um, crude oil. Good thing about crude oil is that uh, we have still a lot of move within the, crypt, uh, within the crude oil. If some of you guys were able to miss this particular move, miss uh, this particular move, and miss the last uh, week's move uh, at least, and are surprised now with this uh, price movement upward, uh, are gonna catch something better so don't worry about it now I'm considering this whole price movement uh, within like we have completed wave 1 and 2 right over here too wave 3 and 4 uh, wave 3 is completed and right now we are going through wave 4 so we, this is I think we'll be able to complete that within a day or two as soon as that is complete that will be giving us an indication that we can actually trade downward so a better move is coming, a stronger move is coming in crude oil. Could crude oil push further down? There is a possibility so for certainly for that. But I think right now we're looking for something around $82 uh, per barrel, $82 to $85 per barrel uh, for crude oil. So this is good news for the, um, for the economies around the globe. A lot of people are, because a lot of people like retailers are actually, uh, retail investors actually are the, um, what 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 I want to say, uh, the general public actually, the consumer itself is uh, is getting really crushed with the high price in the crude oil. So I'm expecting this the that the drop that we have seen a uh, couple of weeks ago, it will actually continue downward. We have only made a slight change in the labeling, and that's giving us indication that we have a trading setup coming. So let's have a look at 15 minute chart and see if we can actually find a trading setup. So as you guys can see, probably we have completed a W and X, another Y is going on right now. This Y is yet not complete. So we are looking for a double zigzag pattern. So we can do something like this right over here. And I think we can double it. It's not going to be a good general because what if we prices move right over here too? So it's not a good idea to use that because we are looking for prices to fall in this area somewhere over here for our cool oil as long as prices there is a possibility that we can actually see something like this and go up in that case it will be a flat correction right over here too so be really careful wait for uh, prices in crude oil to complete the the pattern that actually started right over here only at that time we can actually take a trade so i'm not gonna i uh, right now it looks to me that it's gonna kind of getting to a uh, a double zigzag pattern I'm not going to bet on it I'm gonna wait for the pattern to complete and when the collection is complete you guys will be able to see it and it will become really visible it becomes really easy one thing we can say for sure right now that the pattern directly started from over here is yet not complete so it can easily turn into a flat correction it can easily make into a double zigzag and there's quite a bit of interesting things going on in that as the main thing is that we are to expect a deeper price movement in wave 4 and the degree of the labeling is a bit changed right now giving us an indication that we are to expect a larger move downward in, uh, in crude oil. As I said that we have seen uh, price moving sideways in gold and silver 
and uh, platinum has moved some uh, a little bullish but i'm going to wait uh, for a couple of days or as long as soon as we get the completion of the data in that case i'll be putting the uh, analysis on my youtube channel once again wish you good luck with your trading if you like my content please press that thumbs up and you can share it with as many people as you want if you guys are interested in making a cryptocurrency portfolio come join me on my patreon website it is only 49 us dollars and we are gonna mm, we have a filtration method that we are gonna apply on uh, every single cryptocurrency that is famous and then we can actually make an informed decision i'm not going to guarantee you is once again it's a, an educational exercise you're trying to find the the leader whether you're gonna uh, invest in that that's your personal decision so you're trying to make an educational uh, decision or using two or three different techniques and uh, using two which will help be actually help us in uh, in finding the leader I was to uh, show you guys something really interesting in uh, in gold. If some of you guys are actually interested in gold and uh, are wondering that there is some, I mean, some of you guys are actually interested in WD GAN studies. I'm not saying gold, um, but we have seen some interesting behavior, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, this is especially if you are interested in mathematical side of the the markets. Now, if some of you guys have seen gold chart so many times, there is a hidden sequence in it all right and i hear uh, i i found that sequence a uh, year and a couple of years ago actually last year and i was really surprised and this is available on a couple of locations first of all uh, this is and this was used by darwis himself as well but uh, not probably on a different in a different methodology he was not exactly looking at it so can you see it right now I can assure you, I don't think so. You guys probably are seeing just part of it. All right, here it is. First of all, we have moved up. Uh, we have used the previous range from top to bottom. And then we've used it, and we can see we have drawn the, the same range. And we can see that we have moved three boxes up and two boxes down to find a support. The other, other the next resistance is another three boxes up one two and three right over here too and then we have kind of moved down two boxes as well uh, creating a double bottom forming a, a, a support as well and the next target is also once again we one two and three boxes up so this is pretty interesting if you guys some of you guys uh, want to look into it i definitely wanted to bring some uh, give back something i have taken uh, a lot from community as far as WD GAN is concerned. I really appreciate the people who put the content for free uh, and people I didn't have to buy anything as far as content is concerned. So uh, this is one something that I wanted to give back uh, to the community who was interested in WD GAN. Now this is not the only place where I've seen 3, 2, 3, 2 and 3. This is once again if we can consider this whole box as one box and this whole box as another box which is 1, 2 and 3 right over here too. So we can actually make an interesting interpretation of it. So this is one box, and this is another box right over here too. This theory was uh, introduced by Darwis, and Darwis called it as box theory, although he applied it on the daily time frame. This time frame is kind of a weekly time frame, but he used kind of box theory of the same sizes, and here we can see our boxes are of the same sizes. We have already shown you guys that each one of them is around kind of three uh, smaller boxes of the previous range that we had right from top to bottom so this is pretty interesting if some of you guys are interested and I think there has one more uh, example that I can show you guys I've seen that in silver as well if some of you guys are interested maybe I can find it exactly where I found it I've seen this behavior in silver as well uh, but on with the, on the same chart maybe uh, once again this is a maybe that this was a triangle all right this hole was a triangle there's a good possibility that that's actually started from over here and it's a very ugly looking triangle i was just looking at the data and this came to me now if some of you guys are aware of it i'm um, first of all let's have a look at the once again boxes we have one two and three boxes resistance coming we have one two and three boxes resistance coming we have two boxes support and we have support coming two boxes away 
and then we had completed that seven. This is another rule from WD GAN where it says there is a possibility there are times that the price won't, won't actually make the whole eight by eight itself. And when it completes seven by eight, there is indication that the upward direction trend is strong and that's what exactly we have seen. Now there's a lot to dig about WD GAN analysis, but I wanted to share with these couple of interesting things with you guys. So once again, we can use the box theory of Darvis or WD GAN, whatever you want to lock, like it about it. And this is something uh, in addition to what we are doing right now. And that will confirm uh, right over here too. As long as we went back, uh, entered into the previous box, you can kind of, kind of broke the support as well, gave an indication, we started a, a new box started a new system and we can use a different uh, right over here a line a horizontal line color for finding the uh, support let me can change that uh, to some other color okay so if some of you guys actually want to investigate it and uh, use it and on different charts it's not um, a forecasting method but it does give you some hints right over here too I have to dig deeper I know one person at least who is doing really good as far as the mathematical side or percentages is concerned. So this was to become our support then the price it didn't even make it. It only shoot it to one third of the price movement hold next to it, right? So something interesting. I think once again I have seen this behavior in silver as well and it's, uh, I, I knew this behavior right over here too. Going upside I was unaware of that this is going to happen something like that of course uh, you cannot tell in advance the whole main question right now is that uh, with, well what other things that we can actually follow and find and there is some very interesting things as well first of all that makes it uh, a top right over here too now the top was made somewhere around 2077 something so I'm gonna make it to 2080 okay just to round it Oh, here is the 2080 and then we need to half it because 50% as per GAN is the important point that will be 1040 okay that will be 1040 so we can actually bring that to 1040 so here you guys can see it this top is exactly 100% away from this bottom so we are uh, this is another basically doubling this bottom makes this top so this is another important um, thing this does not give them indication of which way that smaller trend is going but it does provide resistance points though so I'm wondering we'll keep a close eye on these two levels and we will wonder I uh, will use that maybe uh, something larger box is happening or something so I wanted to share it with you guys so if I forget at least some of you guys will uh, be able to remember it and then probably can bring it into our future discussion here we can complete that we have divided the previous box right over here into eight sections right over here and considering that there is a possibility uh, right now we are right very close to three by eight which is one resistance point we are also away from double bottom and that will be triple bottom once prices reach over here so pretty interesting stuff over here and once again if you look at it a half section is also important as far as WD GAN is concerned uh, which is kind of a resistance point right over here for a smaller wave uh, code prices actually are heading to that way uh, as I said as far as gold and silver and platinum are concerned and Forex uh, major Forex we are looking as at a side wave price behavior and if we see a completion of a smaller time frame pattern then I'm looking downward because I do not want to give something major downward and then I you know all of a sudden we have seen a reversal so I have kind of zoomed in my analysis on a very smaller time frame uh, just for that the way gold is behaving and I told you guys a couple of days ago that you were to expect some side behavior I was seeing expecting a break coming and if you were seeing a push up upward that was good for gold giving us an indication that we probably have created bottom but if we don't uh, in that case we, the major chances are that we are to go further down but we still have to wait for the the pattern that either actually started from over here or over here so more on it later I hope that some of you guys would actually uh, like the WD gone uh, GAN part of it where I or Darvis uh, box theory where I've shared with you guys 
uh, a lot of work needs to be done as far as Darwin's uh, theory is concerned. I've read a couple of books uh, talking about Darwin's and almost every single person have got the wrong, got, got Darwin's wrong. Uh, and they're changing the sizes of the box. The box has to seem, stay of the same size. That's the main thing. And then he used those boxes to, uh, you know, to find the behavior and forecast the behavior of stocks. Once again, wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.